Welcome to another Three Minutes with Russ. Hope you enjoyed your family time together over the Easter holiday. Volunteers America Chesapeake in 2009 was around a $19 million organization, and we have grown substantially to be at the level we are, which is 33 million. Your executive team and I determined with the board of directors that we need to set a new course, one of sustainability, to get to the growth plan that we have ahead. With that came a number of promotions. Jim Sense, he has now become Vice President of Maryland Programs and Services. Kyoko Queen is now the Vice President of the District of Columbia Programs and Services. Jennifer Maslano has been promoted to Assistant Vice President of Maryland Programs and Services. And Cynthia Scurry has been promoted to Executive Director of our DC and Maryland Intellectual Disability Programs. Two additional positions that are really paramount. We are looking for a Vice President of Virginia. And the other one is our Director of Clinical Operations. Both jobs are being posted now, and we're looking forward to welcoming in those additional leaders. And then finally, I'd like to also recognize that Candace Vanderwater has been promoted to Chief Operating Officer, and we're looking forward to this team to continue to build on the innovation and sustainable growth that we're going to achieve. I'm pleased to report to you our Howard County, Guilford Road, Day Resource Center and Signal Efficiency Apartments will be breaking ground officially in May of this year. We have closed on the state of Maryland in the Howard County financing and are looking forward to getting our architect, our construction team together, ready to roll next month. I'd be remiss if I did not mention Founders Day, which occurred last month. 120 years of serving those vulnerable individuals in our communities has been a mission of Volunteers of America. Our founding fathers, Maude and Ballington Booth, would be proud of the accomplishments and the growth we've had and the impact we've had in the over 400 communities throughout the United States. Our ministry continues to flourish and grow. I'm excited to tell you that others are taking notice of it, including our national office and other affiliates. And thanks to Reverend Gray and the ministry team, we are on the cusp of announcing a National Prayer Day where all of our affiliates throughout the United States will be connected to pray for the betterment of Volunteers of America, the individuals we serve, and the 16,000 that make up Volunteers of America. What an incredible accomplishment, and it's just a testament to allowing the Holy Spirit to work through us. Thank you for joining me with another three minutes of rest. Have a wonderful month ahead, and I look forward to coming back to you next month. God bless.